Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to all of you. Today, we will present about IC process front end or more known as front end of line in IC process. Introduction In the IC operation, we have undergone the pre process, which is the wafer fabrication involving seven steps. The seven steps is first, photo masking, etching diffusion. Ionic implementation, metal deposition, passivation, backlap. After wafer fabrication, come the next process that is front end of line, which is FEOL. It refer to the formation of the transistor directly in the silicon. As we can see on this slide is fuel step by step or known as front and offline process flow. The process start with isolation method and end up with contact holes method. Step number one is isolation. Transistors are formed near the silicon wafer surface. To ensure that each transistor operates independently, it is necessary to prevent interference with other neighboring transistors. Therefore, the regions where transistors are to be formed are isolated. There are a number of methods for this isolation. The technique introduced here is called SDI, stand for Shallow Trench Isolation. First, a silicon oxide film is formed by oxidizing a silicon wafer. Oxidation is a way to produce a thin layer of oxide on the surface of a wafer. The technique for are oxidizing agents to diffuse into the wafer at high temperature and react with it. The rate of oxide growth is often predicted by the yield growth model. And then a silicon nitride film formed using the CVD method. Chemical vapor deposition, or as known as CVD, is vacuum deposition method used to produce high quality, high performance solid materials. The process is often used in semiconductor industry to produce thin films. Resist pattern formation is formed using the resist pattern as a mass. Shallow trench are cut by etching the silicon nitride film, silicon oxide film, and silicon wafer. Trench are filled by forming a thick silicon oxide film using the CVD method. The surface is polished to remove the excess silicon oxide film and the silicon oxide film is left only in the trench. The silicon nitride film is removed using chemical treatment. Step number two is well and channel formation. And most transistor and primos transistor are formed in a chip. Impurities appropriate for NMOS transistor and PMOS transistor are respectively implanted into the SI surface of appropriate concretation in the leaches where the transistor are to be formed. In the case where transistor with two or more different voltage and characteristic are made, impurities implantation of different dosage is additionally performed. A resist pattern is formed to cover the PMOS area and P-type impurities are implanted in the CMOS area. After implantation, the resist pattern is removed. A resist pattern is formed to cover NMOS area and N-type impurities are implanted in the PMOS area. After implantation, the resist pattern is removed. A resist pattern is formed to cover the PMOS area and P-type impurities are implanted in the NMOS area. After implantation, the resist pattern is removed. A resist pattern is formed to cover the NMOS area and N-type impurities are implanted in the PMOS area. After implantation, the resist pattern is removed. The third step is gate oxidation and gate formation. This step is the most important from the viewpoint of transistor characteristic. The gate oxide film greatly influences the performance and reliability of the transistor and should therefore be a high density thin film uniformly distributed over wafer surface since the size of gate form may also greatly influence the performance of the transistor. Strict dimensional control is necessary in both photoresist patterning and gate etching. Gate electrodes are formed of polysilicon or as known as polycrystalline silicon by CVD. The silicon surface is cleaned through chemical treatment 
and then oxidize, forming a cake oxide film. The thickness and quality of this oxide film has a major effect on transistor performance and reliability, and thus it must be a thin, high density film with a uniform distribution. Polysilicon, or as known as polycrystalline silicon, to be the key electrode is formed using the CBD method. Gate resist pattern is removed. Using the gate resist pattern as a mask, the gate is formed by etching the polysilicon and gate outside film. After etching, the resist pattern is removed. Gate dimension have a major effect on transistor performance and thus straight dimensional control is needed in both gate resist patterning and gate etching. Step number four is LDD formation. To avoid adverse effects such as slower operation speed of transistor miniaturization, LDDs or as known as lightly doped trains, low density impurity trains are formed. LDDs are also called extensions. PA resist pattern is formed to cover the PMOS area and N type impurities are implanted in the MOS areas. After implantation, the resist pattern is removed. A resist pattern is formed to cover NMOS area and P-type impurities are implanted in the PMOS area. After implantation, the resist pattern is removed. Number 5. Sidewall spaces. An oxide film is made only at the sidewall portions of gates for LDD formation and salicylation of gates, sources and drains. In sidewall oxide film growth, a silicon oxide film is formed using the CVD method over the whole surface of the silicon wafer. In sidewall etching, anisotropic etching is performed on the oxide film so that the oxide film is be left only on the gate sidewall. This sort of etching which does not use a resist pattern is known as etching back. Number 6. Source and Drain In NMOS areas and PMOS areas, sources and drains are created. The shapes of sources and drains are identical as for the usual transistors are symmetric. A source or a drain is defined by the connection direction of the power supply. For P source drain, P type impurities such as boron are implemented into PMOS areas while a resist pattern is created to cover the NMOS area. After the implantation, the resist pattern made is removed, whereas for N source drains, N type impurities such as arsenic and phosphorus are implanted into NMOS areas along with the formation of a resist pattern to cover the PMOS area. After implantation, the resist pattern is removed. Number 7. Silicide Silicide is a compound of silicon with metal. It is formed on gates, sources, and drains as 3 MOS transistor electrodes in order to reduce contact resistance to metal wiring layers to be formed later. This silicide formation also has the effect of lowering the resistance of every electrode. Silicidation is a process where a cobalt film is removed selectively by chemical etching also known as a self-aligned silicide. This step must go through several processes which are cobalt film deposition, cobalt silicide formation, and cobalt removal. First, a cobalt film is formed on the silicon wafer surface by using the physical vapor deposition method, also known as sputtering. Other than cobalt, nickel and titanium are also used for silicide. Next, if a silicon wafer whose surface coated with a cobalt film is heated, the part where the silicon and cobalt are in contact changes to cobalt silicide. Cobalt on the oxide film remains as cobalt, thus cobalt silicide is formed. After that, the cobalt film is removed selectively by chemical etching. Silicide remains on the gate, sources and drain. Formation of silicide through self-alignment in this way is called a self-aligned silicide. Number 8. Dielectric film 
The interconnect process for connecting elements such as transistors starts from this step. Dielectric film deposition is a process where a thick silicon oxide film or similar material is made on the surface of silicon wafer by using the CVD method. Although the dielectric formation may result in the unevenness of the wafer surface and interferes with subsequent processing. Thus, dielectric film polishing must be done where the silicon oxide film is polished for the film planarization of the wafer surface. And lastly, number 9, contact holes. To connect electrodes such as gates, sources and drains of transistors to metal wiring layers, contact holes are made in the dielectric film and filled with tungsten. Thus, few processes need to be done. First, the formation of the contact hole resist pattern is done. Then, by using the contact hole resist pattern as a mask, it forms contact holes in the dielectric film by etching treatment. After that, the resist pattern is removed. The holes are very small and deep. Thus, the diameter and depth control of the hole must be extra careful. Next, a tungsten film is formed on the silicon wafer surface by using the CVD method to fill the contact holes. Lastly, the surface is polished to remove excess tungsten and leave tungsten only in the contact holes. Here are the several electronic appliances or electronic machines that apply digital electronic technology. First is electronic calculator. The version is FX570ES plus second edition. Natural VPAM is natural LCD display. It looks like they are written in a standard textbook. Second, computerized electric pressure cooker. The version is HD2136-65 Phillips ME. The digital system is AI controlled, backup memory, and large LCD with clock and timer display. Third is digital multimeter. The version is 1792RMS. It has high accuracy of the measured value since it is digital. The LCD display is handy and it uses wide variety of number for output display. In conclusion, failed fabrication can include all processing steps necessary to fabricate a functional die. Max for a good functional dye on the waffle will be tested either pass or fail for the testing procedure. After the foil is done, each dye will undergo additional ball processing to fabricate one or more layers of memory on each dye. The cost of tooling fabrication facility to perform fail is expensive. Q&A session. Okay, for the first question is, what do you know about IC front end? What is the relation of this process to digital electronic technology? The IC front end, or also known as front end of line, is the first portion of IC fabrication where the individual device such as transistor, capacitor, and resistor are patterned in the semiconductor. Front end of line generally cover Everything up to the deposition of metal interconnection layers. Question 2. What are the company in the world or Malaysia that do the IC process front end? For the international company, we have Chip Global from German and Insys from India. Our last question on the Q&A session. Does the IC process front end give any harm to human being and the world if not controlled properly. One of the most harmful chemical is arsenic that is used as one of the negative type impurities. Long term exposure to arsenic can cause worker to suffer from severe illness such as skin cancer, lung cancer, also the cancer of the bladder. Well, that is all from us. Hope you have gained a little bit of knowledge about FUOL. Thank, Thank you. you.